Hello again folks. In this video I will, albeit for a very short period of time, break the law. And because of that I'd like to request that you watch this video all the way to the end. Not because it's going to boost my YouTube analytics or anything like that, it's just so that you fully understand the context of what is being discussed. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because as far as I can see there isn't a video covering these devices or the implications of their use. Videos on these devices tend to be, look at this great device, you can buy this great device cheap here. Um, it's not a great device, it's probably one of the most stupid devices money can buy. And yeah, I just want it to be an education piece to get that information out there so people can understand how bloody stupid these things are. So if Ofcom are watching, um, hopefully you understand why I'm doing this video. Hopefully you understand that I'm not doing it for any nefarious or malicious reasons. I just want it out there as an education piece. That is my only intent. Right, now that that's out of the way, uh, let's crack on and talk about it. What is it? Well, you've probably read the description already. It is a GPS jammer. And as the name suggests, it jams the GPS signal. Why do people buy them? Well, I don't know about the US, but here in the UK, um, a lot of vehicles are fitted with traffic management systems. You know, businesses use them for recording driver hours and, uh, you know, young drivers have them, have trackers fitted as part of insurance agreements. My son, for instance, he's 19. He drives a 13 year old Nissan Micra. It's a one litre thing. Um, it's not a racing car. But to get his insurance down, he agreed to have a black box fitted. That has brought his cost, his annual cost for his insurance down to £1,400. That's uh, about US dollars with a black box fitted. If he didn't have it fitted as a young new driver, it would be somewhere in the order of £2,500. You know, it's ridiculous. And a lot of these young drivers and lorry drivers etc etc will invest less than three pounds that's how much these cost um, less than three pounds one of these devices to block the gps signal and prevent the device recording their current location they're becoming more and more prevalent um there's cases of them being used or being people being caught being used <laughs> get your words out Chris people are being caught all the time using these devices they're so cheap and people think they get they're going to get away with using them you simply can't get away with using these devices okay yes it will block the GPS signal but in terms of say a car insurance black box they have accelerometers and other bits and pieces built into them that know when the car's being used so yes you can block the GPS signal but you're still, it's still going to record and still going to send the fact that the vehicle is in motion because it, it knows it's moving about. Even if you were to block, as, as these devices do, you can get cell jammers as well. Even if you were to block the cell signal, as soon as that jammer gets turned off, it's going to uh, upla upload all its collated data to the server and they're going to know you've been at it. There simply is no way of getting round a black box uh, recorder thing. If you take it out and have it sit next to your house or in your garage, connected to a 12 volt battery, the insurance company are still gonna know you're using your vehicle. They're not stupid. I, you, can go onto a website or get an app for your phone, completely free of charge, put in a car registration number and it will bring up the MOT data. As soon as you go, and get your car MOT, they upload the, da uh, the data to the, the servers, it tells you the mileage. If you've agreed to have a black box fitted saying that you're not going to do any more than 10,000 miles a year, and they look at the MOT data, they know there's something going on because your GPS, you, you know, your tracking device hasn't really been recording much, and then they look at your MOTs, and they see that you've done 15,000 miles, yet your car hasn't moved. Your insurance is going to be... Uh, cancelled potentially you're going to be uh, prosecuted for insurance fraud and you know next time you go to get insurance have you ever had any insurance cancelled or declined you're going to have to tick that box and your premiums are going to skyrocket absolutely 100 percent. that's why people are using them you know they're a cheap device people think they can cheat the system as i've just explained you can't cheat the system people with driver hours you're going to get busted you know the, the transport 
uh, ministry up, whatever they're called these days, they're going to bust you if they know you're messing about with tachographs and trying to block tra uh, tracking devices. Just don't use them. Why are you not going to use them in addition to your own personal being and getting busted for it? They're bloody dangerous, okay? The GPS system is used by many things, many devices, many industries. And it relies, of course, on that satellite signal coming from space. So please bear in mind, or not please bear in mind, but just to think about it, the GPS constellation of satellites is somewhere in order of 20,000 kilometres above planet Earth, okay? And each satellite's got a power output of somewhere around 20 watts. So 20,000 kilometres with a 20 watt signal. By the time that gets to Earth, it's it's a tiny signal. It's nowhere near 20 watts. And it's very, very easy to uh, you know jam out or blank out using one of these crap devices. This doesn't discriminate. It just blanket transmits on the GPS uh, frequency um, and just overpowers it. You know, it's... it's uh, you know, just the, the noise level is much higher than the, the, the signal from space, so it blanks it out. And these aren't controlled devices. These are made by, by Chinese companies and, you know, they're not... They're illegal, so they are not regulated. So people just throw them together uh, to a certain design and sell them for three quid, or less than three quid delivered. They will blank out, blank out everything. We don't know the power output of this. We don't know how long it's going to reach. Anything like that... And, you know, they say it doesn't discriminate. So, yeah, you might have this in your car and your car might act as a sort of a reverse Faraday cage. I don't know if that's really the, the right term, but it might contain a lot of the signal. But if it's got a slightly higher output or if it's marketed as a, you know, one watt output, something like that, that's potentially going to wipe out a huge area, maybe a mile, maybe a couple of miles. I don't know, maybe 20 miles. I really don't know. There is no real scientific evidence on these. They're just stupid. <laughs> but the point I'm trying to make is it's not just the it's not just the cars, it's not just the drivers that this is going to affect. Many banking systems use GPS uh, synchronized clocks to maintain the financial, you know, side of things. You know, the the computers have to be precisely timed so that the transactions can go through, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, by taking that out, you're potentially going to cause banking systems to fail, which means you might not be able to lift your money out the ATM. Um, aircraft, of course, use it for navigation purposes. Trains use it for anti-collision purposes. Search and rescue, man. Search and rescue. Can you imagine if these continue to be so prevalent and somebody has an accident at the side of the road, the car's out of view... All they can get is a, you know, they need to try and get a position to so they can phone into the 999, the emergency services or search and rescue, and they can't get a position because people are using these close by on the roads. It's, this three quid device has the real potential to cause lives, and it is that serious. It really is that serious. Um. I could come up with dozens of reasons why blocking the GPS signal is a bad idea. But it should be self-explanatory. People don't understand how serious this device, or how powerful this little device can be. Not in terms of output, but powerful as in the damage it could cause. Just to save a few quid on your car insurance or try and cheat the system. Ridiculous. Right, this is the illegal bit. Um, I I genuinely don't know if I should do this or not. I've not tried it. I've not tried it at all. Um, I have considered how I'm going to do it. And I'll talk about that now, just again, in case Ofcom's watching. I have no industry for a number of miles um, around my location. My location is rural. It is it's in a rural as in there's not a lot round to where we are, but we are a village and it is a quite a dense village. Um the I have coast to one side of me, so there's there's no dramas out that way per se. Um 
And yeah, laterally around me, there is plenty of buildings to absorb this signal before it gets uh, a significant number of miles to anywhere where there's banks and stuff like that or government facilities, that kind of thing. I have just off camera, bear with me. Because this could be a kicker just now. Right, I have um, a facility here to monitor both a uh, civil, sorry, civilian and military uh, aircraft. And I can tell you that the closest aircraft from me is 3,000 feet and approximately 50, 55 miles away. So I've... I'll just double check that. Yeah, so there's, there's nothing else... Uh, above me or around me that's going to you know there's nothing to that this could affect is what i'm trying to say um so i'm reasonably content that i have mitigated any sort of risk as far as i can tell um ultimately i'm going to do this for 10 20 seconds something like that uh, it will any device that loses gps will i assume instantly refresh once the signal levels come back up you've all been through a tunnel in your car with your tom tom the signal goes and it comes back as soon as you as soon as you get out so right let's do this um okay so i've got an app here as you can see it's got signal strength we can see the green ticks here. I know there's a bit of reflection there, but there's green ticks um, showing satellites that are locked onto. It's tracking GLONASS, it's tracking the US GPS, it's also tracking uh, the Baidu, the Chinese uh, satellites that have recently been launched. So yeah, we've got, we've got locks on all three variants of GPS. So I'm gonna turn it on and then we'll, we'll see what it does. Okay, so, um, will I count down? I don't know. Yeah, three, two, one. So lights come on. As you can see, I've instantly lost lock on all those satellites. And presumably the signal strength will stay until it eventually drops off. I'm turning it off now. I don't know, was that five, ten seconds? Uh, that's that's me done that's me demonstrated and as you can see the ticks have come straight back on that is an effective device that has successfully blocked the gps signal um using a three pound device i kind of yeah i know i've kind of rambled through this video it's quite a like i say it's quite difficult to 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 do i never script my videos which you could probably tell but you know, hopefully the information that I've given you is is reasonably accurate um, and you understand why I've done that video. Um, and, and like I say, I hope it's just an education piece that, that young drivers who might be Googling, do these things actually work or, you know, where can I get one? Hopefully they might come across this video. It might be a bit of a scrappy video, but people understand or that young driver might go, actually... That's a really stupid idea. And all it's going to serve to do is probably cost me more money. Something I haven't talked about is, you know, potential implications of using one of these devices. You're talking a two-year prison sentence and an unlimited fine, you know. So you're either going to... You're either going to get done for insurance fraud, but they're not stupid. People know that using these devices, they, the insurance companies have ways of detecting that... Uh, I'm not detecting it, but ways of, you know, identifying people that have used these devices. And, you know, you're either going to get caught that way or you're going to get caught for removing your device and get done for insurance fraud. I think I'll wrap it up there. Um, in fact, I won't. I won't wrap it up there. We will we'll take it apart and see what's inside it. This will be super quick. I have already investigated how it comes apart. Yeah. Inside the device, there's not a lot. We've got a voltage regulator, uh, a 555 timer, 
and a voltage controlled oscillator there and basically that is generating the, the a frequency the gps frequency of the 633 megahertz i can't remember that might be totally wrong but it generates that signal which obviously causes the the jamming to to happen that is the best thing you can do with one of these devices is is destroy it absolutely stupid bits of kit don't buy them thanks for watching click on my head if you'd like to subscribe and take care of yourselves and all the best